Hello viewers, welcome to another Odyssey Nostalgia Raid Guide. Uh, we've reached a conclusion of the tech raids with Brainiac Subcontract, aka Batcave 3. If you've not seen our previous videos, uh, this is a series where we tackle the raids in unmodded tier 1 gear, 60 spent skill points, and PvP we uh, vendor weapons, rings and neck pieces. This is Anha, and I am joined by... Ivyport. How's my coat? Dreadwolf. Mitchell. Tesseract. Flame Fury. Saiyan. And we begin from the perspective of Bug Form 3. Uh, bug Form Mitchell. Uh, two feats that will pop up here is to complete the raid in less than an hour and to complete it on normal difficulty. Very easy to do. Nothing special needs to be done except queue accordingly. Sometimes people miss it and queue for a the easier one. The number of times you don't notice that until you actually get to the first boss and he drops the wrong loot. Can be kind of frustrating. Especially with the tier 4. So you notice taking down a yellow orb at the back which will break and open the doorway for us. There aren't any enemies worth noting at this point. It's your straightforward tank and spank. Uh, there are the annoying uh, bigger robots that split into small robots. Yeah, so the Neuromite you'll see is the smallest that they can become. This is a fun room, and as you can see, <laughs> we got an attack that puts you in a green ball. Goddamn subjugators! Uh, yeah. You can't break out of those. Just got to uh, let your teammates take the enemy down. Nine times out of ten, that doesn't happen. You just get stuck floating in a green ball. If you're controlling the um, subjugators that are doing it as well, any kind of crowd control move that will knock them up or whatever, it'll free the person in case. Or if you feel like having a laugh, just leave them in it. It's amusing. You get annoyed. Especially when they're on a slope and they'll roll into that pit down at the side. <laughs> rolling, 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 rolling. Yeah, there's quite a few uh, ads down the pit. You don't actually have to fight if you go over the bridge. But if you're collecting all the the green icons and blue icons, there's a green one down in the bottom there, which you will have to kill if you want it. So you saw Mitchell get put into one of those green balls. It was less than two seconds we took the enemy down, he broke free. Leave him there, I say. Don't really need him. <laughs> He's not about a dirty bug anyway. <laughs> Another yellow orb on the left there, take that down. You're still dealing with the uh, neuromites here, nothing big. If you're going for a speed run, a lot of these uh, ads and, and the, the yellow things you can actually skip past. Except for the, the ones right side doors, which you'll tend to need to bring down to open the doors. But you can, if you can manage to get past the ads, you can just fly right past them. Personally, I find that once you get up to the completely overgearing this raid, this raid is it's actually a lot of fun just seeing how much you can group together to, and kill in one go. By racing through. You should, however, announce your intention to fly the end before you fly to the end. Hi. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you're gonna be there by yourself. <laughs> we come up to the first boss. You see those three things that went round the back and form into this giant one. We also switch to Nox's perspective. He's a controller. Give us a nice aerial view of the battlefield. And his ass. <laughs> Subjugators, nothing to them. Oh, there we can see the big spider bot. Yeah, he's 
just been knocked down. That's split into three smaller ones, yeah. Into the neurocrawlers. Which then split into more. Into the neuromites. Each of those split into three neuromites, yeah. There we go. Oh jeez. A lot of fun for DPSers with AOE attacks. Oh yeah. Yeah, you're tanking me if they're able to the controllers to help as well, if not. But they can be pulled into a single area. Just the standard AOE down. You've got the two doors on the left and the right here. What a noob. See, not just been hit with the electrical charge. That goes back and forth between the two. And he gets hit by the second one going down the hole. I've actually never known how to time that one. I know how to time it like the the ones at the two doors because they switch, but the one at the, the hole I've never, I've never. <laughs> if you drop in just after it's passed above you, uh, you've got enough time to hit the ground before the new one spawns at the bottom. But in general, the amount of damage it does is negligible. Well, exactly. I, I've never cared. <laughs> That's why I've never figured it out. Turned around there, but we go up to this bit. More subjugators here. You want to just take down your enemies first. Two balls. Chilling out. <laughs> You can see the tank's doing a good job putting everything in together. Get taken down the AOEs. DCUO is obsessed with balls, isn't it? Everywhere you go. Purple balls, green balls, yellow balls. <laughs> Big balls, small balls. Some Some's bigger than your head. Balls. <laughs> <laughs> see, they were blue balls. Yeah, and you can see two enemies in a ball shaped shield. You can see the lightning going back and forth between them. If you keep them a good distance apart, the shields will drop and you can take them down. But if you pull them too far apart, they actually teleport back together, which is a pain. Yeah. You can imagine in the next raid, they're like, let's give them something new, we'll use squares. <laughs> <laughs> triangles. Squares and triangles. Yeah. Flying cubes. <laughs> well, to, to be fair though, uh, in the uh, strikers, Instance where we fight Heatwave, Captain Cold, and what is it? This is it Metallo and someone else. Oh, well, the Wizard and Mirror Master. No, 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 not the, the other new one. Uh, the, oh, the new one, sorry. Yeah, the one uh, from the the daily missions. Metallo and Parasite. Yeah, they, they have a, a different shield there. Yeah, you have to select the uh, one accordingly. Controversial. I suppose there's also in the courtroom. Uh, alert! You have a uh, you're carrying about boxes instead of balls. Oh yeah, that's true. Your city's ruined. Yeah. You fail. Well, maybe they was putting that theory in into play. Maybe we'll see a lot more boxes from now on. It might have been originally balls, but it kept on rolling away. Or maybe they might just bring in different shapes, so everyone knows what shapes are. So less balls to play with. Well, back to this. As we progress, we've just come down. <laughs> <laughs> you got uh, a series of four orbs. This is my favourite room in this raid. Five orbs, even. This used to be my favourite room in the entire game. Uh, as a healer, when we were uh, gear, at, the, at the gear level for this, there was always so much going on and so much effort to keep everyone up. It was. A challenge, it was fun. It's just a big bundle full of enemies. Yeah, I mean, as you, as you approach each one, enemies will spawn. As you can see there. It's like the corridor and gates of Themyscira. You've just got huge numbers of adds, a really small area, so all the AoE just hits all of them. Yeah, it's all about your tank. Filling his job, putting everything together for you. Worst case of crabs I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> the 
there's no target selection. Things are dying so fast, even to this gear level and skill point back levels. Yeah, especially not after the the big spider bots that split up into smaller ones. There's just so many small spider bots. You got the heralds and the big guy in the center here. Probably want to take those down first. They uh, chuck out a lot of domes, but if you stand in them, then you'll get destroyed. So roll out the stuff. We ascend the slope and we come to the first boss, which is Omak Infected Batman. Dun dun dun! So you see he stands in the centre but periodically blinks through the shadows. Uh, what that happened, what happened, what means there is he moves away and spawns additional copies of himself with far lesser health. You can toggle through them and you can visually see how fast the health drops to identify which one is the real one. Line of sight is a nightmare in here. I always try and tag the, uh, the real one with the defense debuff so we can have some kind of indicator of which one it is. The real one also puts out this static field that he pulses out, and if you are too close to him, it'll take you down very quickly. So, try that one. Range. Yeah, this is it now. Everyone stay clear. Your range, or if you are melee, ensure you're blocking so your healers aren't struggling. He's in another shadow blink. He also has a. Spawn. He also has a rather interesting attack that doesn't always happen which turns you into a copy of him as well and changes all your controls, which can be quite annoying for if you're a troller or a, a healer because you can not no, you can no longer provide power or heal. It doesn't last very long though, does it? So you've not got time to like try out all the abilities. Plus yeah. you've got all the team trying to take you down. <laughs> <laughs> not quite. No. Just the slow ones. <laughs> That's another thing I didn't know about this raid. I actually never got that uh, effect on me. If Omac Batman stayed as Omac Batman, he would be a lot more efficient at crime fighting. Being a big robot with laser beams and stuff. Really? I don't think so. Yeah, he could just go out Eight and... Eight of us managed to infiltrate his bat cave and take him down. I know, but you just go out there and... Batman, he'd never be able to do that. Electrocute the Joker and everyone. He'd just kill everyone. Well then he's not Batman if he kills people. I know, but he's a, he'd be an OMAC Batman, wouldn't he? He'd be allowed to. But your that, forehead was sore at the end of that, Rob. That boss also drops the OMAC Batman head, as well as the um, Professor Morrow instances, because I've got that the other day in here. So we've moved on down. We uh, had a conversation at the time we were doing this that the Neuromac elites are far less intimidating than the actual Neuromacs from the previous raids. Because they don't actually do anything to do with stunning anymore. Yeah, the, the stun effect was always what made the Neuromacs uh, strong. Just giving them a little bit more health and a little bit more damage and taking that away. It, it, it's kind of a disappointment, I suppose. I'd be on my glutton for punishment. Because you just, the whole raid, you maintain momentum. There is no stopping to make sure your entire team is with you. With the Neuromax in the inner sanctum, you had to make sure they were taken down first so your team could move, move as one. But here, there's, there's nothing slowing you down. In this what? room, there's also various uh, 
of the yellow dome spawners that you need to take down to get rid of the shield at the end, just to... Right, uh, in the next room, yeah. Does anyone know what those little negator bots actually do? Because I don't think they negate anything. They annoy me. Yeah, they should be called annoy bots. I mean, in the next room, there's loads of them, and they mm. always swarm the healers. You've got the electrical orbs bouncing back and forth. If you get caught in them, you get stunned, but it's a matter of breaking out and moving forward. Mm. Even more back balls. You yeah, just wait for it to pass and go through. The, the most annoying thing about those uh, electrical orbs is that it just separates out the team and makes line of sight maybe more difficult or just out of range. Definitely something I'd love to see more of, some kind of... Balls. <laughs> oh. Good tra trap work for your environment rather than just enemies you've got to get through. You hear that, Jens? Balls! <laughs> as you can see, a few people took him to the chin just as they was passing through there. Something you need to watch out for. I just realized there, uh, now that I saw Nox cast uh, Terra Tendrils, there are actually three purple balls with hair on them. <laughs> <laughs> I miss my psychic blades. No wonder this place is full of crabs. It's a little cutscene there. Okay, we've got to take down these generators for the shield to drop at the end of the room. We switch to Dreadwolf's perspective, mental DPS. That one used to have a funny uh, bug to it. It's used to spawn hundreds of them. Oops, sorry. I quite I like this missed, room as well. I misclicked the t TK bolt there. I started to cast a TK bolt on something that was nearly dead. I was like, yeah, that was worth it. There's a lot of those generators to take down in these rooms, and there's one right at the back of the room, up the top, that you have to get. You have to uh, get these down to open the door up at the end. It's always interesting going up there to get that last one. So it spawns a big, massive crab. More crabs, you get two bees. Not enough crabs if, in this game. If you happen to be super speed, I think this is probably one of the most annoying rooms. Trying to navigate your way through. There's all sorts of tactics in here you can employ. You can break up into two teams of four and take one each. Or if you're feeling more confident, you can just send a lone warrior down to the end of the room, take it out. And then laugh as he dies. It's always funny watching the super speed guys try and get that one foot at the top. That just goes back to what I was saying in the inner sanctum one. Uh -huh. A lot of these rooms were just signed with flight in mind and nothing else. Mm. I can't even run through a corridor without ending up on the ceiling. What a feeling! I think it adds <laughs> more to the uh, experience though. If you're flight, you just move from point A to B to C. If you're acrobats or super speed, the navigation's a little bit more complex. From point A to B to Z, then back to Y, back to P, <laughs> then 4 to U. I find it fun with acro, but I find super speed to be just too annoying. Especially in a room like this, where there's so many things that jut out from walls that you'll get stuck on and running around in circles for ages. I think it takes a bit of experience to get used to. Used to initially play super speed. And I had the issues the first time, but as you got more and more used to it, it didn't happen. So we've come to a long hallway. Um, as before, there are orbs going back and forth. If you get caught in those, they'll stun you. So you've got little alcoves on the left and the right. Move your team section by section and take down the enemies. You don't want to become overwhelmed too much. Uh, a tip for mental DPSers, don't do what I did there. I and animation of my uh, TK bolt with the telekinesis that would lower your damage buff from 60% damage buff to uh, to 35. Nowadays, with the uh, enduring damage mod, that wouldn't be an issue. So 
So a steady pace, section by section. If you're feeling a bit more confident about for a challenge, you can certainly blitz right through to the end. Switch to uh, bug for Mitchell perspective. Did you enjoy bug form for this raid? If only there was a selective healing. Uh, no, I didn't. Reach the end. Yeah, if you should say, if only could uh, retain your movement powers, like your uh, Sonic Flight and stuff like that. That's always been my biggest complaint about mm. bug form. That I can't use my Sonic Flight. Uh, Super Sonic Flight is so slow. Because it just waddles along as well, so you're not flying. I bet that should bring back memories for you, Mitch, shouldn't it? Bad memories. Well, you've got to have some drawback. You can't have it both ways. The bug form innately boosts something for you. Yeah, very but, small. But, but the, the drawback should be it looks terrible. <laughs> You get a very small increase in, in healing, and you can't lunge properly in it. Well, I say, originally, the, the benefits were worth it. Yes. Because they were awesome. But people moaned, said it was actually reducing your healing when it wasn't, and they nerfed it. <laughs> That's not logical. It's reducing our healing. Okay, we'll make it worse. You can see at the end of this corridor there's another shield there and every mob in this room needs to be taken down before the door opens. You'll see that part in a minute. I used to glitch out occasionally where you would get a mob fall through the floor and then you couldn't kill it and then you were basically done. Never had that glitch before, I didn't even know that existed. Oh, I've had that. Yeah, I've had that. With it, if you're electric, you can just throw your static bomb at them and slowly, slowly, slowly take him down. Would, would that work with any other AoE effect? Um, I don't know, possibly. Shields dropped as a consequence of killing everything and we come up to the avatar of tech. It's the first of the avatars. Two things people here, eradication denied. Defeat Brainiac without allowing an Eradicator to fully form. And Total Annihilation. Defeat Brainiac after all three Eradicators are fully formed. Both feats cannot be achieved at the same time, so you've got to make a decision which one you're going to go for. The Eradication Denied is the much easier one to go for. Yeah, as and when the Eradicators start to appear, we'll, we'll talk over what's involved there, but... For Brainiac himself, the uh, tech avatar here. So many tactics back in the day, you know, just keep it behind his back while the tank holds his, holds him at the front. Keep to one section. This boss used to give me so many problems. I remember dying here constantly. No matter where I moved, no matter what I did, I would always die. You just saw on the left there, Ivy Bird had to evade a red circle on the floor. That's high damage, but very easy to see. If you've got a healer that uses cross pole or galvanize, then it's best to all stack there, and then you can just pop that and everyone's back up to full. It's very easy. You've got two of those red fields that form on the floor at your feet. One you can roll out of, and another one you just have to block through, because you can't roll out of it. That's what, that one's from this boss, though. This half yeah. boss. One of my uh, personal favourite bosses, he's got a lot of dynamic stuff to him. He'll put a whirlwind, you can see someone floating around in a circle there. If you walk into your teammates, you can lift them up and they'll, they'll be able to get free. And he just had that red thing on him, and he decided to roll next to Nox, and it nearly killed Nox. <laughs> the splash damage on that is quite big. It was for the purpose of the video. You can see on the left there another red circle. That and was this static, it didn't follow a play, you can just evade it. It's also it's a big like force field dome there as well. Yeah, a gravity well. 
You get damage over time if you stand in there. And get thrown about. He also does a forward charge, as you can see there, but again, easily identifiable by the uh, danger symbol above his head. He targets the person furthest away without charge. You can basically see if, if he's looking your direction and he starts the, uh, like, build up for the charge, just get away. What I love about that fight is you've got to be really careful rezzing people because you've no idea how they went down. Did they go down because they were in one of the, uh, the domes that swirl things? Because if you run in to res them there, you'll get thrown back and won't be able to do it. What's the oh, type of the chain? Or you just roll and then all of a sudden you get into the red aura and you're dead. Upon his death, you see Brainiac himself appear. No special tactics really, it's the standard spank, tank and spank. You see him jumping around the room, firing orbs. Quite easy to uh, evade. Which is fortunate because they do hit really hard. Best estate range on him. I'll stick it his back. Is he using dual wheels? He is, isn't he? Yeah. Uh, he knew about that a lot, a long time before we did. <laughs> How powerful <laughs> it was. Fall down. If you're looking to do eradication denied, what you need to get your tank to do, or your controllers can assist as well. As and when it pops up on a screen, he uh, makes some smaller forms appear, and they will start making their way towards the eradicator. So on the right hand side, there you've just seen the little one was taken down. While they're kept at a distance, you take the central eradicator down to prevent it from forming. Um, thank you for the res mission. No worries. On the other hand, <laughs> no, I'm down again. Just go back down again. Then you leave those miniature eradicators to move towards the central eradicator. I didn't bother that time. <laughs> <laughs> I think the central eradicator here will absorb three of the drones before he becomes fully formed. Miniature ones before he'll fully form. Yeah, that, this is the most annoying thing with the, this boss fight, his, his jumping around a circle like, uh, in the uh, outer edges. I remember oh, popping room. the... Uh, what's the mental superpower? I'm trying to pop the mental superpower on him. Bolt and just like Yeah, bolt barrage. And just popping it as soon as he like starts moving around the room, he's about a mile away from you. Ooh, I missed them all. <laughs> just going back to total annihilation, when uh, the eradicator is fully formed, what you can do to make it easier for yourself, all three have to be up, you can't take it down before the others are formed. So you can do some damage to it, bring it to about half health, and then do the same for number two and number three. So when all three are fully formed, you can just take them down easier. While he's in energy form in the middle of the room, though, he does ha that beam uh, provides a, a stunning effect, which, to my knowledge, there's no way to break out of. Yeah, there is no counter for it. Uh, it sucks your power as well. Give a shout out to you. I did not know that. Stunned. He goes doing his bunny hop again. Yeah. As long with. Come on, and it's following him. Get him! If you can do it, so can I. Hopadee hop. If you can do it, so can I. Hopadee hop. <laughs> <laughs> He's down. I repeat, Brainiac is down. Sucks us. Now, Bad Bank can come in and take all the credit. Yeah, but he comes in, makes some grand speech, takes the credit. At such high speed. <laughs> and that ends the tech themed raids. Oh. And the tier 2 raids. Yeah. 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 And didn't we have fun? The Fortress of Solitude.